Hello and welcome back. We're going to talk again about the NGO embroidery that I uh, really archived and saved because it's a very good uh, example of what happens to uh, folk crafts during uh, a diaspora and of course a uh, political crisis. Yeah. So uh, I commissioned uh, through with the help of Tulip Kurdi uh, from an NGO in Turkey and I want to show you some idea of the different threads. So I'm starting with the silks, Japanese silk, French silk, then the commercial DMC, which is sort of silk wrapped poly, the Shetland wools that were actually hand uh, dyed, and then of course the British lamb's wool that is super soft and really fun to work with. Now, this is Bayan's work. She is obviously a needle artist. And at the same time, um, she is a refugee. And these are the famous panels we've spoken before. I just want to bring your attention this time to the beautiful tassels that are tassel making. How fantastic. I asked for the tassels because I collect um, Harde indigo rugs that are actually woven out of goat's hair and export it to Saudi Arabia for tents. And I uh, just thought that the horses, because I also has, have done an Arabian horse for a, compete, uh, a competing um, equestrian event here in the California. And so I kind of was versed in this whole art. So look at the, look how beautiful what she did how she improved it. And these are the hummus hats that I had. I asked that they be represented in the look. And folk art is fascinating. It comes from the heart. It's whimsical, it's feminine, it's tender, and super, super, super optimistic. Now these are the panels, also like the lovebirds for the wedding, for the kitab. Um, these were also, took one month. So one girl, uh, Bayan, did the horses and Iman did the lovebirds. And as, like I said, it takes one month to complete each one and the proceeds help the young women uh, pay for necessities that they would need to supplement their parents' income while they were refugees and uh, in Turkey. But I noticed these beautiful, beautiful um, pomegranate trees and I thought, God, what a waste. We got to do something with them. So with a few illustrations again, uh, this is the beautiful result, which is these fantastic cookie-like um, embroidered pomegranates. Aren't they delicious? Bon appetit.